Hey Midlakes, it's Todd Clausen here. Today I am with senior Emma Smith and uh, we're here to talk to you about an event that's coming up on Monday, uh, October 12th. Uh, Emma, you're involved in a blood drive with the American Red Cross. Can you tell us a little bit about it? This year's community blood drive is at Belts Fire Department on Columbus Day from 2 to 7 p.m. Um, Walk-ins are available. You can also schedule an appointment. Um, we recommend scheduling an appointment if you don't want to wait, but there's a wait for walk-ins. Um, it's just a community blood drive for the fall. What has the Red Cross told, told you about um, the need for donations this, this time of year? Since there's a pandemic going on, it's pretty high, but it has been higher in the past. October 12th at the Phelps Fire Hall. Uh, how was it getting them involved in the project? Well, I had the opportunity to get a scholarship through Red Cross for doing this um, blood drive. I'm also going to be hosting three other ones this year. But basically, um, for every certain amount of people that donate blood at the blood drives, I get a certain amount of money towards a scholarship fund. We've had a couple students in the past that have helped with the blood drives three or four or so uh, throughout the year. Combined, they've gotten a couple thousand dollars from, from the Red Cross. So it's good to see that you're getting involved in this project as well. So you kind of brought up college there. Do you, how far are you in your college decision process? What, what are you eyeballing? I'm thinking about adolescent education, which is um, seven through 12, so high school, and either at Cortland or Brockport, not sure yet. Was there anything that kind of lured you to that field, that pulled you in for that field of study? So I really enjoyed psychology class, so I could see myself teaching that. And also history, I would major in history, and so I can go back and forth. It really gives me quite a bit of options. I can go to psychology, I can go to different histories. I just really liked psychology class with Miss Hungerford, Brandy Hungerford. So cool. she was very fun, energetic, just like me, so... <laughs> What other extracurriculars are you involved with uh, at school? I do volleyball, but that got moved to March this year. And then in the spring, I do outdoor track. What are the events at, at, at track? I do discus and shot put. Okay. So um, that that's that's something where you got to have a little little oomph behind you, a little little strength there. Um, yeah. how, how'd, you, how'd you land into those two? I'm not the fastest runner <laughs> and the best jumper. So I just tried throwing out, which I ended up being pretty decent at for my first year. I started last year. So I don't know. I have a little, um, <laughs> so it helped me. That's awesome. That's awesome. October 12th is the blood drive, the American Red Cross blood drive that Emma's helped sponsoring. Um, hoping to get uh, some some participants involved. Um, what have you been doing to, to kind of get the word out? I created a Facebook event on my personal page. I just named it um, Phelps Community Blood Drive. Um, so I've been posting on there about walk-ins and the ways you can schedule an appointment. And then I also had my um, some of my family members repost things for me too to get the word out. This is one of a of a couple different donation drives that you hope to work on throughout the year, but the other ones were still you're still working on some dates for that. I don't know the dates yet, but there will be other ones about three this school year. So you have to be 16 years or older to donate blood. If you're 16, you have to fill out this extra form and get your um, parent or guardian's consent to donate. But that's the only restriction. Well, there's also all the don blood donation restrictions. So when you get there, there'll be a representative from the Red Cross that'll kind of have you fill out a questionnaire or go over certain yeah. questions that, that just to make sure that, um, you know, don't, everything's everything's good, safe. What else about uh, the the donation that you want people to, to know about? Basically, if you guys go and donate blood at any of these four blood drives that I'm going to be hosting. It'll really help me out with college and my future, and I would really appreciate the help. And obviously, it's going to help many others in need. So here's my question to you. I know you're a little skirmish about needles, 
Are you going to donate this year? I'm thinking about donating this year. I've never donated before because I am not too fond about needles and like shots. So I have had a pass with feigning at through a shop before. Oh, so wow. I'm not, but I would like to try this year donating. Okay. Well, my, my suggestion to anybody who's considering and planning to go out is um, when the needle comes, just look away, look away. And then let it let it let it happen. So we hope, Emma, that you have a great event on October 12th and we look forward to other ones coming up in the future. And if you do give blood, which we we, we suspect you're going to try, we hope you don't faint. OK, <laughs> Me too. all right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for Emma for coming on today. Thank you, everybody, for joining us and uh, and come to the blood drive on Monday.